The following is a review for critical, analytical, and educational purposes only, and is protected under Article 17 and 107 in the United States Fair Use Code. This video is not an infringement on copyright. Please enjoy the video. UK prison-based films are pretty hard to come by. We have The Criminal back in 1960, Scum in 1979, and, um, can you count porridge? Um, there's also, um, I don't know, a, a close shave. Well, filling this oddly specific niche is Starred Up, brought to us by David McKenzie, acclaimed director of films that you have probably never heard of. The term starred up refers to a young offender who is deemed so violent, unstable and dangerous to everyone around them that they are locked away in adult prison instead, which is the situation our lead character Eric Love, played by Jack O'Connell, finds himself in. Once there, he finds assistance from his father Neville, played by Ben Mendelsohn, and the movie follows these two characters as they have an unconventional father-son bonding experience in a prison. This movie has been getting rave reviews all across the board. The amount of praise being heaped on Starred Up is pretty immense. However, I don't feel that it's as good as everyone has been making it out to be, but it is still a pretty good movie, and after seeing Under the Skin a few weeks ago, I'm glad that the UK film industry still has some competence left in it. Mostly. I'll get to you next time. The central narrative of Eric and Neville bonding and learning more about each other in the prison environment is the one trump card that this movie has in terms of its narrative, as the way the film presents these two characters is legitimately fascinating. Jack O'Connell is amazingly brilliant as the lead character. Despite his young age, O'Connell is a magnetic presence on screen. The closest comparison I can think of is Malcolm McDowell in A Clockwork Orange, where such a young person has so much much rage behind their eyes that you can't quite believe that someone so young can be this violent and dangerous, though McDowell was three years older than O'Connell was in that movie. In terms of character though, Eric is more of a cipher for the story. He's an active bystander and that is another trump card of the movie, as it lends the film an unpredictable nature. You're just waiting for the next brutal act of violence because these are such unstable people and you just know it, you can feel it in your guts that things are about to get so much worse. There's a scene where the prisoners are in line waiting to be served food and they're holding plates and I was just waiting for someone to get their head smashed in by one. The fact that the violence is in short bursts but terrible when it happens helps add to the dread. However the standout in terms of character is Eric's father Neville and talk about unpredictable. He can go from raging at the heavens one moment to complimenting a prison guard's hairstyle the next but Ben Mendelsohn makes these contradictory elements feel organic. When 2014 is said and done, I think Neville Love will be one of the most interesting characters of the year. But when it comes to characters, the supporting cast are pretty shallow and weak. The fellow inmates aren't well developed, which is a problem because Eric is supposed to develop emotional bonds with them, and the villains are just lazy. First time screenwriter Jonathan Azer has a very topical point to make with his screenplay, about how prisons nowadays are more focused on just locking people up instead of rehabilitating them, but the way Starred Up presents this conflict is almost cartoonish. There's no method or logic behind the prison wardens or the guards' actions. For a movie trying to be so gritty, grim and realistic, it feels like all of the bad guys, all of the higher ups in this prison, are all Lex Luthor. The 1940s Lex Luthor. It's an admirable attempt at social commentary, but it just drops the ball. Also, while the father-son dynamic is legitimately interesting and a great facet of Starred Up, it really is the only unique thing the film has going for it in terms of narrative. There are many familiar genre tropes and cliches to be found here, which once again pulls you out of the gritty tone the film is built upon. If there's one thing I can't fault Starred Up on though, it's the camera work. Despite being filmed on such a tiny budget and set in such a limited prison environment, Michael McDonough's cinematography is pretty brilliant as the camera explores every nook and cranny of this dilapidated environment. The tracking shots in particular are masterclass, and the sound design is also an unsung hero in this film as the screams of inmates echoing throughout the building is not only a scene setter, but is used in effective character-driven ways. Also, the stabbing sound effects are pretty chilling. It's a 
a hell of a lot easier to appreciate Stardup than it is to truly recommend it as a great piece of UK cinema. It's well acted, well made, and the father-son dynamic is the most advantageous thing about the movie, but the social commentary, while very well appreciated, feels very unbalanced, and the supporting cast are pretty dull in terms of characteristics. But still, I think that this is a good movie that you should see if this is a genre that interests you. I give Starred Up three and a half stars out of five. You have to behave, because I will kill you. Kids causing issues, you know what's necessary. In case you haven't fully appreciated, I am his father. Ta-ta-ta-chubi. Ta-ta-ta-chubi. Ta-ta-ta-chubi.